Okay, so we've used the Instagram app on our iPhones and Android devices, it's cross-platform, uh, to take some pictures of the Secretary's Conference. You can see, uh, here's our keynote speaker, Barbara Rodriguez. Um, got our superintendent welcoming us here, the great door prizes, teachers and se secretaries excited to learn. Uh, so we have all these pictures on our Instagram feed. Now I want to put these pictures onto a Google site. I want it, and the reason to do this is once I've got it set up, every new picture I take will automatically be um, brought into that, to that feed and into that website so it's automatically up to date. If I need to create a new Google site, you can do this on an existing one. Um, but when you're logged into Gmail, you have other apps and different options here under these little uh, squares, right? I've got my calendar and my drive, but we're going to go to Google Sites. If I don't have a site already created, I can click the Create button right there and uh, a couple different settings and I'm, I'm good to go. But I'm just going to jump in uh, to another site that I've already got made. And I have, um, let's make a new page for our photos here. So I'm going to go new page. It's going to say, what do you want it to be? We'll call this Instagram uh, photos. Okay, I want to keep it as a regular web page. And normally I just put it at the top level so that it's, it's uh, easily found. So create that page. Okay. Now I'm into editing mode. I know I'm in editing mode because I don't have the little pencil icon here and I've got the insert menu. Okay. Before I do that, I need to go and, and set up um, a little... Um, where'd it go? Where'd my page go? Uh, I found a few different uh, widgets that work with Instagram that will create the code you need to bring in that uh, Instagram feed and turn it into a slideshow that is automatically updated on your site. You can either have a slideshow version of it uh, or just show the, the last nine photos in a grid. Um, and there's a couple different sites to do that with. I really like this, uh, this top one in tagme.com because it is simple and clean and there's no ads if you click on the picture. So here I go. Click on in tagme. And it's really simple, just a couple of sets to do. So this is, you can either gather in photos by username or by hashtag. And again, hashtags are those little uh, ways to categorize your photos once you've got them in there. I'll just do my username, which is SEDC Clint. Um, you can do this with your Instagram username, works just the same way. I can choose between looking at the, a grid of photos or a slideshow. I'll do a slideshow this time. Thumbnail size, 300 pixels, that's... Um, pretty good size. You can make that bigger or smaller if you want. Photo border, yes or no. Background color. But basically, you put in your uh, username, say get the code, and it gives you this really weird looking funky code. You, if you don't know how to read it, that's fine. But all you need to do is copy all of that stuff and then uh, copy, control C or edit, copy up there on your, on your menu. And now back on my site, I need to get back to it here. On my photos page, well, actually, I need to go to the site now because that page here, Instagram photos, that's where we're going to put it. All right, so I'm at the page that I want to add this widget to. I want to edit the page, click the little pencil up here, and then under the insert menu, I'm going to go insert, whoops, more gadgets. And we're going to search for embed, E M B E D. This embed gadget comes up, and this is just a little window that will take that weird code and bring in the stuff that I want to be there. Set it up one time, and it's, and it's done. So you click on it there, hit select, and then you've got a few different options here. Paste the code into the box up here. It says the window is going to be 315 by 315, so that's what I'm going to change this to. 400 would probably have been okay. You just don't want a number down here lower than the number that's up above, so it would close it off. Uh, give it a name, call this uh, school, or um, SEDC photos. 
whatever you want to call it, school photos. It's called school photos. Okay. Uh, and then say okay. And you get this little gray box and you think, stupid thing doesn't work, right? It doesn't show you that gadget until you save the page and you're not in editing mode. So don't get frustrated at that point. Okay. And so now when I save the page, it'll take this a minute to... Uh, to load in those photos. One thing I forgot during the training is that when you do a script like that, Google blocks that by default. So look for a little shield icon up in the top in the address bar. Click the shield icon and then say allow that script to run on, on your site. Okay, so now that I've clicked that little shield icon up here in my menu bar and have maybe even reloaded the page, um, my slideshow, my photos from Instagram come in, and this is the slideshow version of that widget where it just goes through um, my pictures one by one, or I can view the grid, and then if I click on one of the grid photos, it'll take me to the, the viewer where I can like it, tweet it, favorite it there, uh, or you can even follow me on Instagram. It's up to you. Um, but that's how you do it. Not too bad. Uh, there is another widget called Snap Widget that does the same slideshow that has other options as well. Uh, the reason why I don't like Snap Widget as well as the others is that if I do click on one of these pictures in the photo stream, I get not only the pictures and more photos, but I get a couple of ads. Uh, it will allow me to comment here, but if you don't want to see the ads, then I would stick with uh, the Intag Me widget www.intagme.com. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.